leaders lead and they embrace risks. That's what they do. They don't follow, right? They don't let 50 or 60 or 70% of people do something and then they go, yeah, me too, right? No, they're open to new ideas. They're often introducing new ideas themselves and they are not crippled by the comments and judgment of others along the way. All great minds, all leaders, all entrepreneurs, all of those who took risks, all firsts were made fun of and ridiculed at that time. Only to be recognized as exceptional leaders, as visionaries, five, seven, 10, 35 years later. The reason why I'm saying this is at the last event I attended last week, I've had a number of folks, friends and colleagues approach me between sessions, during lunch, dinner, at the bar at the end of the night. And the common theme and thread of half a dozen people I spoke with kind of individually is that they want to do something else, something different, something bigger, maybe something smaller and more niche, but they're afraid of judgments and comments along the way. And those who know me know what I'm gonna say, and they know me, that's why they approached me. As far as we all know, we get one shot at this thing called life, right? We're not gonna live until 500. We're not coming back as far as we know. And if we are, all religious and spiritual beliefs aside, we may not be coming back in the shape or form that we would like to be in. So you have today. Yesterday is gone, never to be seen again. You have today. And then the promise of tomorrow, but not a guarantee. The older I get, the more grays I get, the more I look at things from different perspectives, the more I realize how important it is that to lead your life, to really lead your life, lead your careers. Don't sit there and be responsive to the commentary of others and those around you because everybody has a comment. Everybody has two cents to chime in with. And there could be good. They could be well-intended and well-intentional. And they could be malicious. But at the end of the day, if these are not your inner circle, your spouse, your kids, your parents, your best friends, few folks at work, few folks in the neighborhood, people who truly know you, in the long run, does it even matter? And you know the answer is no. And if it doesn't, please stop living your life based on comments of others, especially if those comments are by those who claim or believe to be anonymous behind the keyboard. Live your life, do what you wanna do, because at some point, I promise you, and it's coming for us all, at some point, it's gonna to be too late to try that new thing, take that new risk. So as a leader of your own life, not necessarily of the entire organization or business, but as a leader of your own life, lead. Take risks, try something new, Learn along the way, dust yourself off, stand up, and do it again. One life, live it to the fullest. Make sure that the happiness of you and your family and your circle of friends is the goal. Not something that you're going to do when you're 65 or 75 and you retire. That is something that you need to figure out how to do today and every day. We're going to have good days and bad days. They're not all going to be rosy and peachy, but we have to be intentional to change the way we think and the way we do things and to limit what we allow and who we allow to enter our lives and dictate how we live them. Think about that. Have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best. If this is the first video you see, please consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends and colleagues. And most importantly, leave your thoughts below on the topic I just covered. And perhaps if you're brave enough, share what is that one thing you've been thinking about for years, but you're yet to act on? Have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best.